Driven, the 2023 Lexus LX600F Sport is a confusing proposition. The Lexus LX is a luxurious full-size SUV built on a truck chassis and imbued with the off-road prowess of the Toyota Land Cruiser, which is longer available in the US. It's powered by a 409-horsepower twin-turbo V6, backed up by a 10-speed automatic transmission and four-wheel drive. It plays in the same segment as rivals like the Cadillac Escalade and BMW X7, but its off-road prowess makes it more comparable to the more expensive Land Rover Range Rover. It comes in four trims, including an F Sport trim and the Ultra Luxury trim, which ditches the third row of seating and swaps the second row bench seat for a pair of captain's chairs. If anything, the LX sits nicely between something like the BMW X7 and the Range Rover. The X7 is a luxurious ride but offers only mild off-roading ability, while the Range Rover offers amazing off-road ability that's there more for bragging rights than anything. The Lexus LX is designed to deliver comfort and style for people who also want or need rugged off-road ability. That's why we didn't hesitate to put it through its paces in the mud and snow, and try to figure out how the F Sport designation fits in. Style, all Lexus. While the Lexus LX600 is based on the new Toyota Land Cruiser, the style is definitively Lexus. The current generation was all new in 2022, and on top of the standard, premium, and luxury trims, there's the F Sport, which we were sent for review. The most obvious differences between the three main trims and the F Sport are model-specific front fascia and rear bumper designs, and a chrome grille frame with a mesh design rather than the frameless effect of the three-dimensional floating bars design. All Lexus LX trims come with 22-inch wheels, but the F-Sports are unique forged aluminum units with a dark gray metallic finish. Drivetrain, no more V8. The V8 was replaced by a 3.5-liter V6 twin-turbo for 2022, delivering 409 horsepower and 479 lb-ft to the all-wheel drive system via a smooth yet direct 10-speed transmission. The transmission also has a low setting for when things get challenging off-road. Lexus's electronically controlled braking system helps on and off-road performance, as do the active height control and adaptive variable suspension systems for the suspension, but these aren't included on all the trims and only the active height control can be added to the F-Sport. The F-Sport trim gains a Torsen limited slip differential at the rear, and gets F-Sport tuned suspension, a rear stabilizer bar, and performance dampers. The torque from the twin-turbo V6 comes early and for longer in the power band over the previous V8, which adds an extra degree of refinement and control over the engine. For a heavy SUV, the LX is reasonably quick, but the beauty here is in the smoothness of the big, heavy drivetrain and the range of availability of the power. Interior, not up to par. This is where the Lexus LX loses points over the competition. Not in terms of comfort, the LX has wonderfully comfortable, 10-way adjustable seats up front, and build quality seems perfectly Lexus, but the materials seem a little thin, and there's a drop in quality in the third row. That's not a deal-breaker, but what is to us is how big of a mess the design is inside. While two screens bring a lot of practicality, one for infotainment and one for drive functions, it looks like the infotainment screen is an afterthought slapped on top of a previous-generation infotainment system. Thankfully, the awful touchpad control for the infotainment is gone from the center console, but there's still a mess of buttons spread around in the center. The infotainment system is Lexus's Google-based software and works well enough on the generous 14-inch screen. You can call up the voice assistant with Hey, Lexus, but it occasionally responds to random speech from inside the cabin. The gauge cluster display is also just too small for a vehicle in the Lexus class. While the interior of the new generation brings more space inside, the third row is almost comically cramped. With the third row up, cargo space is equally tight. The only reason we can think of where the third row would actually be useful is the occasional school run when adding kids to the ride. The second row has plenty of room for large adults, including legroom. The F-Sport gets its own interior touches and colors, which we feel are jarring and don't suit the vehicle's style. This includes Hattori aluminum trim over the wood accents in other models. The interior on the regular trims looks far better, and more muted colors pull things together nicely. 
On the road, all about the suspension. When it comes to ride quality, the suspension setup on the LX is close to perfect ride quality. It's all about consistency. While it doesn't magically make any road surface glass smooth, it does magical things with high frequency damping as in a badly textured surface that you're running over at 50 to 70 miles per hour. The wheels and tires might be chattering away underneath the chassis, but you don't feel the vast majority of it. Then, when things get bumpy, the suspension takes all the edge off of it. And that's despite 22-inch wheels and lower profile tires, and a more aggressive setup on the F Sport version. The drivetrain adds to the refinement and gives the whole vehicle an executive feel. The new platform is more rigid as well as lighter, which helps bring about better body control, working with the suspension, meaning less lean in the corners. There's a satisfying lack of road noise, and the steering is better now for low-speed maneuvering in parking lots. There was a fuss made about the 2022 model's suspension being too soft or too jittery. This reviewer didn't drive the 2022 model, so we assume Lexus made some adjustments on the down low. F Sport Y We're sure Lexus has done its homework and knows people will buy the F Sport trim, but it baffles us. Sure, the throttle becomes snappier, the suspension and chassis stiffens up, and the LSD adds stability pushing out of corners, but it's a truck-based SUV that weighs nearly 6,000 pounds. No amount of engineering magic will make it a joy to hustle down a back road while retaining its off-road ability. It's not even particularly fast in a straight line. It could be fun to push it around a bit on a dirt track, but again, it's hefty and rides tall. What we would understand is a more hardcore off-road version with a steeper approach and departure angles, and Toyota's hybrid V6 powertrain found as an option on the new Tundra. That would make a whole lot more sense. Off the road, a comfortable bruiser. Bust the LX off the concrete and tarmac and onto a dirt track, and the suspension doesn't bat an eyelid. We were so enamored we picked a fire road and hit it at 10 mph increments to try and find the point where it stopped feeling like we were on the road still. We had to stop at 60 miles per hour as there were bends, and we were on dirt and didn't want to tell Lexus we had crashed a car. What we did work out is that faster is better to take advantage of that excellent high frequency damping. However, 40 miles per hour isn't a good idea in the snow, at least on the stock tires and no chains but the all-wheel drive system kept everything consistent on the roads around Big Bear Mountain in California. We found a bigger challenge, though. We took a trail up a mountain near Idlewild after the snow, but forgot how high it went up. The stock tires on the LX600 are Dunlop Grand Trex, which are hard-wearing all-season tires with a lean toward reduced rolling resistance. That's to say, they are not dedicated off-road tires but do generate decent grip on dry dirt. They are not ideal when you're going up a mountain and start finding snow, slush, and mud. However, the Alexis sheer off-road ability managed to overrun the tires and push up through deep muddy ruts and plow through long, deep puddles without losing momentum. Most importantly, saving us the embarrassment of having to get pulled out by a more appropriately shoot off-roader on the mountain. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.